Your next contest is a heavyweight contest scheduled for 10 three minute rounds and it's for the Southern Area Heavyweight Championship. Introducing to you firstly in the red corner, wearing the green and white hoop trikes. He comes from Southampton and weighs in at 17 stone, five pounds. He enters the ring with a 28 five record, 16 wins. Seven of those wins come by way of knockout against 10 defeats and two draws. Please welcome Colin Kenner. And his opponent across the ring in the blue corner wearing these solid red trunks. He fights out of Hackney and weighs in at 18 stone, seven pounds. Tonight he enters the ring with an eight fight record, seven wins. Six of those wins come by way of knockout, eight games, a single defeat. Please welcome Larry War Machine Olubamiwo. Your timekeeper is Nick White, your referee at the bell, Jeff Hines. Boxes, please. Gentlemen, this is 10 rounds or less for the title. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Touch gloves, good luck. Step up in level here for the massive, muscular heavyweight Larry Olabamiwo. Ninth outing and the 29th for the experienced Colin Kenner. He's not always been the most dedicated, but on his night can prove tough if he can take Olabamiwo's power. It's an intriguing match and the vacant Southern Area title on the line. And Olabamiwo, as always, going for the quick finish. Yeah, O'Connor's going to have to try and get through these early rounds and get into this fight, which might be a little difficult. Right hand from Oliver Miwo, who blew away Scott Belshaw and a right up a Callum Keller in trouble inside the opening minute. Doesn't want to be fighting fire with fire, he wouldn't have thought. No, he hasn't really got the skills to box away from that, and Oliver Miwo will go forward, so he's going to try and get inside where he can smother Oliver Miwu, not let him get his shots on, which so far he's managing to get some pretty heavy ones on. Kenner with the right hand back. Much more seasoned and fought in higher class, but we all know that Oliver Miwu can bang. He's, about he's getting through as well, though. Both having their successes. Right hand from Oliver Miwu, though, and Kenner Felt that. Really heavy shots going in from the Hackney 31 year old, and down goes Colin Kenner. Was stopped in a round by Michael Sprott a long time ago. Can he get through this? Really does possess power, Oliver Miwo. Yeah, very, very strong, and these punches are hard. Kenner's got to try and get inside and tie him up, do something but not let him get these punches through. Well, he elected to play his part in a shootout, Colin Kenner. Right into Olabamiwo's hands, uppercut. Down he goes again, just bundled over, really. Sinks to the canvas for the second time. All getting too much for Colin Kenner. Is he going to make it? 
counted out Larry Olabamiwo, Southern Area Heavyweight Champion in a round. The power works again. Well, he went for the, the quick finish. He was just going to throw an awful lot of punches and overwhelm Kenna, and that's exactly what he did. Kenna, once or twice, landed on the chin and looked like he might get lucky himself, but Oliver Miu didn't want to be denied. The strength, the power would finally get through, and Kenna just couldn't take it. Eighth win for Larry Olabamiwo, seven by knockout. This is his game. Yep, he uses the power, the speed, all early, just overwhelming Kenna, who did get a couple of decent shots on, and that just tested the chin of Oliver Miwu a little bit. But he was straight back at Kenna. Kenna, his work was ragged, his defence was all over the place, just bundled to the floor with heavy right hands. Keeps landing the uppercut. Oliver Miwu, which gets through and befuddled Kenna, but the, the long right hand was always the, the solid punch. What he lacks in technical skills, he makes up for in courage and blistering power. He's going to excite us, Larry Oliver Miwu, for as long as it lasts. Yep, he'll be in some exciting fights, and you've got to have a chin, because he's going to get through and he's going to hit you. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time. Two minutes and 24 seconds of the very first round. Kenna having suffered a count out. Your winner and new Southern Area Heavyweight Champion, the War Machine, Larry Olu Bamiwo. <laughs> Larry, you got that belt around your shoulder. How does that feel? Southern Area uh, Heavyweight Champion. I can't describe it, mate. Can't describe it. Uh, Something I've been dreaming about for a long time, and uh, to have a first professional title, and for it to be the Southern Era titles, dream come true, basically. You know, just can't, yeah, that's about the best I can describe it right now. There's a lot of good names on that belt, and uh, now there's another good one. Yeah, yeah, um, you know, guys like Sprott, um, Scott Welsh, uh, Julius Francis, they've all won the belt, and they've gone on to bigger and better things. Um, so I'm glad to have my name amongst them, and uh, also hoping to move on to bigger and better things, yeah. Um, Derek Chisora and Michael Sprott, they were names that were mentioned to fight for the belt before you got a chance. They've gone on to European and British level. Do you now feel that you, you, your chance is coming for that as well? Yeah, most definitely. Um, I think that by the end of the year, or maybe beginning of next year, I could fight for the British title. Um, I, I still think that I need a couple more fights just to, you know, just to keep, just to make sure I firm certain things in my armoury. Um, but yeah, I don't see why not at the end of the year and, or beginning of next year I don't fight for the British title. Um, I'll be looking forward to tomorrow's fight with uh, Danny Williams and Derek Chisora and uh, just following what goes on from there. Did, uh, you got the feeling he was going over when you hit him clean, but do you don't go looking for the early knockout necessarily? No, I don't. But I, I also know that, you know, I've got the power to take anyone out. So as long as I hit anyone clean, they're going to go. Uh, saying that, I have to get the shot, you know, it doesn't just come. So, um, you know, James Thompson go out there, pick, pick the shots, use the jab to open him up and then get the shots in. He was swinging with a good few right hands and uh, they, you know, caught, a couple of them caught me, but I got a good chin as well. Um, so, you know, I wasn't phased by that and uh, just made sure that my shots counted.